I don't watch him. I don't like I said. He got one person that donates to him, as far as I know. Mary Cook Moore, a cancer survivor who went through her battle with cancer, hung out in Landon's chat while she went through it, and apparently beat cancer. Congratulations, Mary. This has nothing to do with you. I'm talking about him, all right, and anybody else, okay? There's one woman named Mary that donates like $500 a week to Landon all in, all in one stream, and uh, she's a cancer survivor who hung out with Landon while she went through chemo during uh, COVID. <clears throat> I mean, well, you know, like, could we really hold that against her? She's, she hung out in there and passed the time while she went through treatment and sickness and illness, and now she's a forever gr gratitude or gratuitous towards her friends in that chat. Uh, it's understandable. Now that I laid it out to you, though, that is a cancer survivor that donates because she appreciates the fact that your uh, viewers helped her through a hard time, it doesn't make you sound that special as an entertainer, does it? How's that make you feel? I really just pulled the rug out from underneath you, Mr. Pseudo Psychiatrist. Pretend you got all these fucking big pocketed donators donating to hear you fucking psycho babble about nothing. No, bitch, she survived cancer and she's happy about it and has money and she don't even fucking care about your truck tires or your fucking your your uh, dead mom or your dead cat or your fucking trunk or your your freezer full of two year old steaks. No, she's a cancer survivor, uh, you know, showing how happy she, she is, how happy she is to be alive by paying it forward. You're an ungrateful schmuck who talks about other people. But now that I've fucking pulled the rug out from underneath you, don't feel like you're some creative super genius with this manifested, nurtured, cultivated audience of, of deep-pocketed supporters. No, it's an elderly cancer, a woman who survived cancer. Thank, th uh, you know, thankfully for that. Shout out to Mary Cook Moore. Without her, you would have retired a year ago, loser. How much money has Mary Cook Moore given you? I want to start that. I, you know what? I bet you I can find out, too. Guys, how much money do you think Mary Cook Moore, the cancer survivor, gave Landon Tell? I would say it's over $20,000. Faggots like Landon like to sit up there and pretend that they got, like, some, oh, I got some group-funded, crowd-sourced, you know, I got a thousand different donators. No, bitch, you got a woman that survived cancer, and she's so happy to be alive that she gives you money to make you less miserable while you sit in your room over there drooling on yourself from pills. I <laughs> think, quite honestly... I bet you Mary is giving Landon twenty thousand dollars. You want you want to speak on it, Landon? I dare Landon to speak on that, right, Shane? I wish Kim McDonald's old weird flip flop himself was in here. Let's have Landon speak on the fact that Mary Cook Moore has donated more by herself than the rest of everyone else combined all together. You can't say that about anybody over here. When I tell you I got hundreds upon hundreds of unique people that donate a five here, a five here, a ten here, a five here, a ten here, a one here, a twenty here, a two here, a six here. That's what I have. No, you got one woman named Mary who donated twenty thousand dollars in the last year because she wanted friends to keep her company while she went through her cancer treatments. Ouch! Rug right out from underneath, Mister Wannabe Creative Pseudo Psychiatrist over there. Fucking weirdo. Same thing with the mommy bloggers. These are mostly uh, people that are down on their health. They're 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 laid up at home. They can't go out and, and, and uh, have interactions in the in real life. So they support the, this one faggot who is just another fucking uh, uh, dredge upon society. Jiminy Christmas. Let's not pretend you fucking losers are creative or know anything about, you know, having an audience and, and using your audience to convey a message. No, you guys are fucking lucky to have these one or two people that donate to your streams. <laughs> Damn, I just slaughtered you, nigga. Where in the fuck is Attila Snack Size at? Snack Size Attila, nigga. Did, did I body him or what? You got one donator who, who donated by themselves more than the rest of all your donators put together in total. Mary Cook Moore, $20,000 in the last year to you to help you keep streaming because you're a crybaby bitch and she don't want you to kill yourself. <laughs> she survived cancer in your chat and she don't want you to kill yourself while she goes on to live another 50 healthy years. Fucking pussy nigga. Go, go, go fucking barbecue yourself, bitch. Another donation. Why is my new friend 8-Bit Stories the only one donating to me? Look at that. I got to read this one. One's in the chat, baby. Let me, let me run up these dollars real fast. Jiminy Christmas. Look at this. Let's go. Mary Cook Moore, thank you. These ones are for you too, Mary Cook Moore, because you donated over $20,000 to Landon and directly motivated him not to kill himself. <laughs> He's over there doing fire sales with White Claws. Like, who the fuck does that? Goodness gracious, nigga. You're dismissed forever. Fuck out of my chat. But I do appreciate people like Mary Cook Moore encouraging others to not kill themselves. How nice of Mary and her $20,000 to Landon so that he doesn't press the uh, game over button. Landon better go live again and whine about your dead mom so Mary keeps feeling sorry for you. You better you better be sure to bring up the fact that Ski Mask talked about it when you come in here talking shit to him. Landon, you better get the clip ready to play for Mary to really tug at the heartstrings when she comes in again next week. Notice Landon's down to streaming about once or twice a week, marathon streams. And you know what's funny? He, he streams and he gets all this money in the very beginning and then he just stays live for another four hours and doesn't earn a dollar. 
You're a fucking a, you're just a loser, bro. I just had to expose the fact that you you're not creative. No one supports your dumb shit. <laughs> They actually like you, bro. You're fucking. You're you. This wall back here is as interesting as you. Your green screen has more content than you, bro. <clears throat> your green screen is more interactive than you. Quite honestly, your green screen makes the money, not you, bitch. Fuck this loser talking shit about me. You got one one lady who's a cancer survivor donating to you and keeping you afloat. You stream fucking you know twice a week, loser. The rest of the time you're groveling for your transvestite girlfriend to come back. <laughs> See, if you were actually, let me break the news to people with money. If, when you die, you don't get to take the money with you. Keep that in mind also. If somebody knew that they were on their way out, like what, and they don't really even have anyone to leave money to, what the fuck do they care about money for? They'd be trying to give it away as fast as possible. <laughs> what, what else would you be doing with it? And see, let's pretend it's you. That was, a, that was a distasteful thing to say. I'm quite honestly, I'm tired of you like begging for attention. You know, that's the difference between me, between me and the cat killer. I would have enough love and compassion and respect for that situation to not go live an hour later and cry about it on stream. You say that some some people just make the argument for me. How disgusting is it that Landon went live, you know, hours after his mother officially passed away? Like you can't uh, you can't just take a moment to think about your mom and all, you know she brought you into this world and yada yada yada. Like you know appreciate her life and maybe look through some of her old pictures and, and gather up her old possessions and think and think of like something that really reminds you of her and keep a picture or this or that. Oh no, you gotta run to the internet to your fucking 30 viewer audience and, uh, you know, tell Mary about it so that she can start donating the fucking survival money. I got gotcha. you. You're disgusting, bro. You gotta live with that. You gotta live with, live with that. That's shameful beyond redemption. I don't give a fuck to it, but be quite honest, Mary shouldn't donate to somebody like you. That's a true story. His mother was ill for, for several years. I've talked about this. I don't wanna, like, really di disrespect his mother. His mother was an ill woman and she had a long battle against whatever and, uh, she succumbed to it. And he knew about it the whole time, and literally he went there, the told the chat, you know, da 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 da, this is going on. Went, seen his mom, and then he's live like a couple hours later, telling them how she's gone. Like, what kind of mourning is that? That's the fakest, phoniest, fraudulent, nasty shit I ever heard. You're disgusting, bro. You should you should go hang out with her again. You should go hang out with her again. When you get real sad and lonely, and you start missing your mom, you ought to remember how you didn't miss her enough to respect her passing. <laughs> Thought about you're gonna see me today. Yeah, you, you you might see me like a fucking couple months later if I haven't if I haven't followed to the next uh, what you gonna call it weirdo. Next topic. <laughs>